Hello and welcome to a new series. This series uh, is, well, this is, this is a game Victoria 2, as you can see in the description. Victoria 2 is, as you may or may not know, a grand, huge strategy game by Paradox, a great uh, development studio. And, um, well, you can basically control every country in the world. To make it more clear, every country in the world. So you can take China, Tibet, uh, pff, whatever, like Prussia, United Kingdom, Sweden, which, you know, still a uh, one big chunk. USA, and, like, it's 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 period of, you know, development. It, you, you can go from, through the entire becoming a great power, because at this point, USA is actually a great power, technically speaking. Like, it's sixth in the world. Um, you might want to debate that or not. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's definitely got a lot of potential in the future, and you can develop that, or you can also, of course, fail. Or you can become Mexico and, you know, stop it before it happens. Like, just take a fight to them. At this mo moment, for example, the United Kingdom is first. It's gonna be very, very tough to get them away from that place, but you can try. Long story short, this is a really, really awesome game, but there's a lot of stuff going on. It's like a game of diplomacy, and a game of military, a game of prestige, a game of uh, industrial development, because we are in the year 1836. Um, right after, right after, well, it's, it's a while after, but it's actually not that far beyond. Uh, the French Revolution and the Napoleonic era um, and Europe is sort of recouping from that and you have these liberal ideas going through the entirety of Europe and spreading towards the rest of the world maybe uh, also the idea of uh, colonization which has already started as you can see and you know you had a previous moment of colonization uh, in the past um, America has claimed independence for the most part but there's still parts like Canada or Australia, which is the old world, or India, you know, or the new world, but uh, it's uh, older colonization, like one of the, f the first waves, and um, Africa is probably next on the plate, sadly, um, together with China, for example, which might be divided. And that's the thing, this is a historical game, and it gives you a chance to play an alternate history, and it's awesome, that's really great, at this point, Spain has had a, a civil war, there's rebels, there's everything, this game, yeah, you know, we're gonna play it and you're gonna see what potential it has. But this might not be the longest playthrough, depending on how this works out. I'm guessing it's gonna depend on the first 10 years, whether or not this will be a possibility, because what I'm trying to do here, and you might think it's crazy, because every country has sort of a you know, certain things they can do. There's no real victory conditions. You can decide decide for yourself. You can decide, do I want to become a great power? You know, through war. There's wars going on right now. The Ottomans are fighting Tripoli, colonization war, con conquest. Uh, Mexico is uh, claiming Texas. It has a Casas Ballay on that. Also, a lot of things you do know about or will learn about as I, you know, will try to explain. Um, and you can, of course, you know, Prussia or Austria, or actually every German nation has the possibility of forming Germany. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff like that. Like, Italy can be formed by any Italian nation. Um, and we are Montenegro, a civilized nation, 61st in the world, and actually one of the smallest countries in the world. It's one province. <laughs> so yeah, you can't get any smaller than that. Um, the only thing that's sort of like that, I think, is Sikkim or Sikkim. I don't really know how to pronounce that, but that's also like one province. If there's anything else like that, let me know. Uh, um, I'm not sure. Well, appar mm, Parma, apparently. Um, Modena as well? No, Modena is too. But there's a lot of small nations, but not that many. Um, well, technically treat but that's not independent it's Egyptian but anyway <laughs> we are a civilized nation we are Montenegro um, and what do we want to do it's pretty clear what we want to do the only thing we actually can do to become any f sort of something we want to form Yugoslavia and basically that's really po really difficult we have to be a great power which you know depends on these uh, things like our prestige level or industrial power and our military power which as you can see is freaking low, like really low. Um, we have to have prestige of at least 45, but that 
will be the case probably since it will take a long time to be get to be a great power and once we're a great power we're definitely gonna be above that um, and then we have to have um, uh, core provinces which are part of Yugoslavia and they must be uh, owned by us directly or have to be in our sphere of influence uh, sphere of influence is something a great power can do and we'll get into more depth as it you know as it becomes important um, but this is really difficult and that's why I say it's gonna depend on the first 10 years or so because it's gonna require a lot of political diplomatic uh, maneuvering and I <laughs> I'm not too sure where it's gonna go, but we're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna give it a try. We're definitely gonna. Oh, I'm gonna get my f uh, clock here to see, you know, just how long we're gonna go, cause I have to go to bed still, cause it's quite late now. Um, yeah, and um, um, let's see. You can have like a diplomatic map mode, which will show you which provinces you will have to control. This is us. This is our direct claims where we have Casas Belli on. Um, these are Montenegroian um, provinces, you want to say. Like, as Montenegro, we have claim on these provinces, which we can definitely press. We have a Casas Belli on them, and we're going to definitely use that if we can. Further on, this is potential Yugoslavia. So this is potentially our full extent. Well, of course, more if we want to go rogue, but this is potentially what we are striving for, meaning that we have, the, we have to have the Ottoman Empire, Austria and Serbia in our sphere of influence or just conquer it all. Serbia, possible. Austria, Ottoman Empire, eh, it depends, we'll see. Uh, so that's sort of the basics about it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and you have national focus and stuff, but uh, yeah, that's just uh, pretty straightforward. It encourages a certain population, sort of population into your uh, province and you have you can have like focus points which de uh, depends on population of uh, accepted cultures which in our case is Serbian um, and um, yeah <laughs> there you go Yugoslavia the big Slavian Empire is that correct I do not know I think so um, <laughs> Let's see, what do we want to encourage? I'm gonna say bureaucrats, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's that's most of the case. That's a pretty useful thing to do. We have research, which we might wanna put into. That's the difficult one. I'm gonna go and say we wanna put it into culture, cause that's basically gonna be the way we are gonna go for great power status if all else fails. And that's prestige wise, cause you can sort of artificially put your um, total, um, great power status and your status overall up by you know if these things go up you can go up in general because we are not 38 most prestigious nation in the world with one prestige which is weird but uh, a lot of them have zero probably um, and prestige is a really easy way let's say to get this really high because you can have, get like prestige of like 5,000 Mm, technically speaking, mm, probably not gonna happen, but it's possible. And looking at like at this point, it's quite low, but you know, one third of prestige is here. But in France, it's well, pff, it's differently. It's like more of ha than half, and they're still second in the world. So prestige is an easy way to get high scores and become a great power. So that's the way. Um, we definitely want to put up education, uh, administration, and pff, military is not that important, I guess. We are running sort of a deficit, but it's really low since we have, don't have much of a spending either. We're too small for anything. This is our only possible military, and here is going to be the interesting part. We're going to start it off. I'm really not sure where this is going to go, but uh, we're going to wait for our first diplomatic point and then go scouting for allies. Since we have a Casas Belli, we can declare war against either Austria or the Ottoman Empire. As you can see here, we can, well, once we have the diplomatic points, we have to have at least two bait, actually. Well, I can just show you now, right? Um, let's see, we can declare war. Have it, here we have real claim on this. Um, and I think we also have a claim on this, pretty sure, actually. Yeah, so... We, yeah, there you go, so Dalmatia. Um, having this is useful. That will immediately, like, um, grow our direct 
um, surroundings. Like our, our direct provinces, our own territory will be mu multiplied by like 400 percent. That's like crazy, <laughs> but that's not really crazy when you think about the fact that we are just this one province. Now you can definitely see there's a difference in force. Um, for starters, our army is not that advanced. Well, none of them are really, but like, take pressure for example, at this point has an army of 6 out of 30, has this, and I think army professionalism, not sure. Or is that Austria? Not sure. I think actually it's Austria now. Um, and I'm pretty sure in a fight, Austria and Ottoman, the Ottoman Empire would win. We could also go for like, Russia or something. Um, but the point here is that we should actually try to, and that's why I say the first 10 years, because if that doesn't work, we're basically lost. Um, <laughs> really. Um, well, we can try, but it's not gonna be fun. Um, we gotta f try and find uh, an ally and wage war against the other one, like one of these two, um, or Russia and wage war against them both, but the ch chances of Russia joining and helping us uh, first, starting an alliance, chances are small, and chances of them helping us in a war are even smaller, so Austria and Ottoman Empire are most feasible ones, and considering Austria is probably the biggest mil military here, uh, strongest one military-wise, the Ottoman Empire has the most provinces we can actually claim, that seems like a very uh, reasonable thing to do. Oh, hold on. <laughs> we don't want to do this now. We want to form an alliance. Unlikely. Ugh. Should we increase relations first? Uh, oh darn. Okay, we have to wait a little longer. We'll see. First 10 years. That's why it's gonna be a go hard or go home sorta. You know, it's gonna be not that easy, I'm afraid. We're gonna have to uh, improve our relationships. Uh, and also, there's another scary thing that if we get into the sphere of one of those two we cannot wage war against the leader of our, of us of, of our sphere so that means you know basically what probably is gonna happen is that the Ottoman Empire will sphere us that's what happens almost always so that's the most probable thing that's one of the reasons why we want to fight them in a war because for stars that delays the uh, um, annexation and also if they are in our sphere we can also always ally them and they can fight for us again, but as long as we can take territory from them, you know, sounds pretty good. So I actually want to go for the Ottoman Empire first. Um, it seems like yeah, it's feasible. Although a lot of territory from them is uh, actually, I don't know. Austria also has a lot of things we can claim. Serbia is also going to be in this. Oh, it's in the sphere of Russia, so we can actually declare war on that in the hopes that Russia will not. Let's see if they are actually up for an alliance. Impossible. Well, there you go. So, we're not gonna even bother there. We're just gonna really try and get Austria in there. And it seems like it's getting pretty hard. Like, it used to be easier. I remember, like, I did it once. That's why I'm gonna try it again. Um, well, I did it once the slow, stupid way. I didn't do it the uh, conquest way and this, because I did the fight. But I did it with the Ottoman Empire. They lost that. and. That's too bad. Um, and I did it with the prestige and then just going for the spheres of influence. But it doesn't add the countries. Like in, Ger in the German case, wow, we're very conservative now. Hmm. <laughs> there you go. It's also, there's also politics. We will explore that when it becomes a thing, right? So if you don't know how to play the game, yeah, we're gonna explore that when it becomes a thing. Because if I have to do that now, now it's impossible. Now, mm, good God, uh, that's annoying. Darn it, Russia! <laughs> I don't know, man. Long time no see. How would you like to, maybe? Oh God, really? Russia's unlikely. Two Sicilies, but they are totally not strong enough. Like, mm. oh God, mm. France? God, no, probably never. And we have to do it in time before we get sphered by one of those two. Yeah, impossible. Never mind. So, Russia. How are you feeling? Impossible now. What the hell? What the hell? No. I really hope this is... Oh no, they're probably having alliances with our people and have them having already having alliances. Like, there you go. Makes it less likely for them to start more. 
alliances, but that's not really true. That doesn't really count. For Russia, that's definitely not the case. A lot of these alliances are pretty, you know, they're pretty stable. Um, two Sicilies. Ah, uh, it's, it's a long shot, isn't it? Ten. Military power of ten, they'll never be here in time. Or even military power of zero. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Our population is shrinking, by the way, by one, so it doesn't really count like anything, but still. Jingoism, so we are really pissed off, apparently, and we really want to... Yeah, we are very revanchist, you know. Yeah. What sort of government do we have, actually? Oh, I was just looking at that. Uh, where is it? No, it, it says it here. Where is it? Absolute monarchy. Okay. Fine. We actually went up in the rankings. We're 49th now for no good reason. <laughs> sure. Sure. Why not? I'll take it. Hmm. I'm uh, scared. I'm really scared that, uh, you know, oh, wow, there's a lot of wars going on in the world. But uh, for now, that's not an either case. Like, there you go. Tunisia. Or Tunis has been, you know. Taken by the French, like they always do, I guess. Oh my god, our money! We're getting sucked dry like hard. Wow, and our population is not feeling good or anything. Wow, and then this is going down, or is it just because it's going better and then it's going down stuff? I'm not sure. We should put more into spending here. Not sure at all, but really, not sure about anything right now. But you know. We're gonna lose a lot of money. Oh no, it's gonna be like Haiti again, isn't it? Oh no. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, you yeah, don't. It was horrible. <laughs> well, after that we really, you know, it got a lot better after that, but that's because we started playing with another country. Bavaria, I don't know. I'm just gonna... Oh, I'm, I'm really looking... F this is quite a stretch now. Mm. Now it's just becoming... You know, now it's just becoming... Really, I could, I could actually do this... Egypt. Don't think so. I don't think so. Sorry, Egypt. Prussia? That's, that's, actually, that's... Uh, no. No, that's not really a thing. That's not a thing. The Netherlands? Wait, what the hell? Oh, that's Spain. I thought that was the Netherlands for a second, because they're orange and... Yeah. Are you at war already? Hold on. War with? Hatsche. Hmm. That's soon. Belgium! Why Why not try Belgium? Let's, let's try that. Alright. Oh god, this is not gonna work. I was being so happy, and I gave like the best introduction ever. And then, um... Yeah. Then that happened, where, uh... Nobody wants to be a lot I like with me. It's like, uh, maybe I do like a new... Try at the start of the game, for like... A, I, I, I could... Um, well, I'm thinking about getting allies a lot. Ally with smaller countries, but the more allies you get, the least likely it is to get other allies, so you know I could get Serbia in there, but then the chances of you know, anybody else joining in is getting smaller and eh? Serbia is not really the most useful one. You know, look at them it's it's just as bad as us. I mean it's no use. France, really. I don't know why I'm trying actually. I don't know why I'm even trying this. You are allied with the UK? Hmm, that's pretty strong of you. You wanna you know no, not one of them. No, not one. The USA? <laughs> Never? <laughs> no. Uh, hmm, I think I tried all of them. Let's see who has like a strong military. Bam. China, of course, but, you know. Um, Japan? Well, yeah, not gonna happen. Mexico? No. Afghanistan? Really? Hmm. Hmm, that's interesting. Two Sicilies is... Yeah, you know what? Two Sicilies... <sighs> it's better than nothing. If that would work, that would be great. I'm just gonna give it a try. And I actually might want to try again, because I would really like this to work. That would be flippin' awesome. Now it's impossible? Why is that impossible? Why do you not like me more if I improve relations? What the hell is that about? What the hell is that about? You're just allied with Greece. I mean, what? who cares? Who cares, man? Do you want to form like some sort of axis of things? You know, 
want to give military access, want to get military access. What the hell? What the? Hmm. I'm actually thinking about just restarting. <laughs> Trying it like from scratch again, doing the same thing. Um, because this is going nowhere. This is not doing what we want it to do at all. Are we sphered? That can be. That can be the case, is it? No, no. But it's. He, they're definitely trying. They're definitely trying. We should definitely, you know, get a lines really soon. I don't really get why. That's a, why you're being so weird about this. Why are you being weird, Austria? Don't be weird, Austria. Come on, Ottoman Empire. Please don't be weird. You know, it's cool. You know, it's cool. It's come on, come on, come on, come on, man, come on. No, it's it's not helping anything. Oh God! My God! Good God! Flipping God! We actually took from our own bank a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is not going well is not going well. Well, it's more likely now. Hmm. More than nothing, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. I do not know. Darn it. Two Sicilies, really. Very unlikely. Uh, you might just go for, like, start the game and, like, take the very unlikely and just take that. I hope they take it, you know. Why not? Why not try it? Just why not, you know? Try it one more time, come on. It's impossible. Why is it impossible? Can you see why it's impossible? Nah. I wish I could know why. Hmm. Hmm. And we're losing money. Sort of fast. There's no chance of us paying it back in any time soon. Oh, that's our last diplomacy point. We're gonna wait it out. There we go, okay. Alliance? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Alliance? Unlikely. Ah, should I try that? What if they say no? Well, if you say no, they just you just try again, right? Is that... Yeah, I guess so. You know what? Yeah. They're not gonna do it. What? They did? Okay. We're sort of in business. Military score of 18. Oh, 80? What? <laughs> hmm. That's not good. And they're too far away, aren't they? Okay, we're gonna wait and get more, more alliances going. Okay, so two Sicilies. That's, that's a thing. That's... That's good. That's... Yeah. I don't know, I really don't know, but, uh, yeah, it might just, you know, it might just be very unlikely. Try it! Hit it. Oh, you rejected. That's not good. That's really not good. How are we for, uh, sphering-ness? No, we should definitely... Ah, uh, we shouldn't... No, we can't declare war on them, can we? That would piss them off so much. And we don't have enough... We don't have a strong enough army. The Italians? No. Never. Right? Never. Mm. The Austrians? Yes, definitely. But nah. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try this. If it doesn't work, it will not work. It will definitely not work, but at least then you have, you will have, have to see something. Are we gonna try it again? Second time around? Hold on. Maybe we should, like, ask Serbia to join us as well. What about Russia? <laughs> oh, this is never gonna work. Definitely not. Will Serbia? Will you? You will, likely. Okay, let's try a little longer, right? A little longer, like, get... Mm, Greece in there as well, maybe. France? Why are you... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? How many... 
a half. Okay, so never, you're never gonna do it, right? Hmm. Oh, it's impossible now. Oh, well, we could actually just go for a thing here. We actually didn't ask, haven't asked, asked Prussia for like a long time, so. I don't know, it's never gonna happen, but uh, hey, a man can dream. First 10 years, if not, which is not gonna, it's not gonna happen though, but first year, five years, if it happens, best ever, right? If it happens, it's gonna be great. Military spending up through the roof because what the hell, why not? Oh god. If it doesn't work, I might might try again. Well, you'll see when it's online. You'll you'll see. If we try again, I definitely want to you know get this going. That would be great. Just to get that province, and then maybe you know like who knows? We're not allied with two silly states like two Sicilies and Serbia, which is really what the hell. But why not? Sardinia Piemont, would you? Maybe, who knows? Hmm. Probably not though. We have too many alliances going on right now. Uh, let's wait a little bit. We have like six more years. And then uh it's not gonna happen though, but again, why am I trying? Because it makes me feel good just to try. Because I really have a problem with giving up. I I have chronic chronic persisting um, disorder hmm you're now very unlikely it sounds amazing you know what uh, I'll get you up there a little bit more try it one more time declare the flippin war but the war is gonna be over soon we're gonna be pretty sure it's gonna end soon enough so that's gonna be clear it's gonna be clear what's going to happen Oh, actually, I'm, I might get them there. What's their military? Three? Ah, uh, they're... Mm, well... Not, don't know. Russia. Ooh, look at all these wars going. Russia's momentary at war with Afghanistan and Bukhara. And... Mm, Tibet is being um, annexed by uh, the British. Because, you know, that's what British do. Annexing stuff. In the olden days, hey France, if you would do that, that would be flipping awesome. But nope, not gonna happen. Mm. The Dutch, though, the Dutch definitely wouldn't. They definitely would not do that. They would definitely just say, "You can go and screw yourself in every hole," because it's not gonna happen. They rejected us. Damn it! Come on, Dries, I just want to get you in there as well, and then uh, we'll be fine. That would be great. Ottoman Empire, do we really want to do that? Uh, I do not know. I do not know what we want to do anymore. Consciousness. Well, yeah, lower consciousness. It's pretty high, actually. Hmm. Mm, mm. Yeah, sorry if this is really boring, because uh, this is sort of just to wait and see. If this succeeds, that means we can get going. If it doesn't, which it won't, you know, there you go. Just same old, same old. Try again maybe in a second life. Because normally there's a chance that it, they would uh, Greece you know what we're gonna do this war without you I'm, I'm sick of it uh, I don't know it's never gonna it's never gonna work this is the only power you have to back us up two Sicilies well it's better than one <laughs> yeah yeah right there yeah yeah uh, yeah sorry that that yeah <laughs> so there we go should we? We should definitely not. Only eight war score? Call in the allies. Proceed. It has happened. Serbia 
and no <laughs> oh my god okay it's uh okay it's over it's over okay no god oh god yeah there you go so end of the story is over there you go white piece white piece there you go bam wow that was hard that was really hard that was harsh <laughs> so that's what happens if you go home if you don't do what you're supposed to do again it's, it's a Heidi scenario where you just think you know what let's just do it and it doesn't work because this the beginning of this game is really about putting your cards right getting the right allies but it, I think it's too far along in the game now to just get anything done anymore yeah I don't know yeah Serbia how would you feel about it mm -hmm. maybe nah. you know what I'm gonna try it one more time I'm gonna stop it here for a while but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try it one more time for the f you know and then uh, if that doesn't work you know whatever <laughs> see you soon it's the year 1836 and um, we are playing as Montenegro trying to form Yugoslavia because we're being silly you know what let's go into military first because it you know what the hell why not hmm why not why not just try you know what let's just keep it like realistic like it's it's gonna hurt us enough what about imports yeah you don't we should, uh, let's just leave everything as is although uh, you know what screw it we can lose some money how does that affect the people do not know it does really bad wow artisan ah oh, that's normal artisans never get what they want you know what let's put the liberals in charge what does that do what does that do for our budgets put it down it lowers the taxes you know what sure um, <laughs> so we're gonna try again and God help us maybe might we might get an unlikely and we're gonna try it immediately if we get an unlikely we're gonna go for it we're gonna say yes and we're gonna f declare the war or something it's not gonna happen ah it's so stupid it's ah it's just so mm. it's yeah it's one of the hardest things ever to do like you try it really you want to try it because that it's not easy uh, mm. there you go so hit it damn okay let's try Russia Russia's never gonna say yes never that hurt our relationships oh it's minus nine now <sighs> that's not good it's gonna be too late by the time we uh, can ask again I'm afraid I don't know it's so mm. Damn it! it uh. Oh well. At least I gave a great introduction. It was awesome. Um, you know what? Oh, really? Lose the only thing we have and uh, have people die like flies. You know what? Let them eat cake, I guess. Whatever. You know? It's the same outcome, I think. It's just a little, little more or less, uh, you know, something. We're losing money, but it's sort of fine, isn't it? Well, no, but there's a potato blight going on. Where do you see that? Uh, nowhere. Oh, it's probably in the provinces, right? More farmers, less artisans. Sounds horrible. Oh, I forgot to put my focus points in. Well, not too. That that's not so bad. But oh no, capitalists! We don't need those right now. We need bureaucrats. There's also the possibility of forming Warsaw with Poland. Uh, Poland with Warsaw. I mean, the other way around would be very weird. Um, that is also a possibility. So, um, and our population has actually shrunk so much that we can't actually support this one soldier we have. So if we lose that one, it's over. We can't grow any military anymore. But yeah. 
Um, what were we doing? Oh right, waiting for uh, diplomatic points to uh, ask Russia if they want to be our friends. Russia, never gonna happen. Come on, just go faster. There we go. Let's see, what would Russia say? Very unlikely? Okay, what would Russia say? Very unlikely as well. Well, who do we like most? What would the Ottoman Empire say? Oh, also very unlikely. So actually it's like even. Who do we want then? Russia, Prussia, Austria? We don't want to hurt Austria again, is it? Do we? Uh, let's try Prussia actually. Darn it! Okay. <laughs> you might want to try Russia next time and then the Ottoman Empire. I'm not a fan of the Ottoman Empire. They are they have a too weak uh, army. They can get, get big numbers but they're not really um, strong in tactics and stuff while well, we're losing a lot of people fast. It's like 10, 1% of the population I think. 25k yeah I guess yeah. Uh, oh we have two points so we should actually just try both. I guess if one of them says yes that's be awesome. Rejected, rejected. Ugh, I feel so rejected right now. It's not even funny. Maybe it is. Depends on where you sit, I guess. From this point of view, it's pretty bad. It's not really feeling good. But, uh, you know, the Dutch. Really? You would actually be sort of very unlikely, but you would not say no immediately. Well, the, the British would, but the French would but you know it is to be expected I guess the Austrians try again damn it you are so Blech. I should not try and improve relations apparently because that makes me just angry up to five there you go more con oh there's a lot of consciousness already it's going down though people are dying maybe that's why no it's impossible here the Russians will never try again. We'll never, they, they don't care. It, I think it's just gone to impossible right now. I think it just went to very unlikely. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know. Liberals. 100%. Really? What the hell? That's interesting. Really? Yeah. Censor the press. That's amazing. What the hell? How did... That's cool. That's really cool. Hmm. Become like a super liberal state and stuff. Awesome. More reforms. Wow. Free press. Bam. More literacy. Bam. Losing money though. Hmm. That's not good. Uh, impossible. They're not liking us at all. They really aren't. Still rejected, and there are relationships are really bad right now. Mm. It's mm, yeah, but I kind of like this part where we have like you know, you know what? Let's have landed voting. Awesome, could go for thing voting next time. Like wait, wait at wealth. Is it because I appointed them, and that means I can have like 100% of stuff? Flipping awesome. We're like super liberal and stuff. Great. More reforms, like... Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> Oopsie. I think it crashed. Oh god. <sighs> so the game did decide to crash on me, so... Um, well, but that does give us, like, you know, a little chance. Does Austria still sort of like us, or are they just... Oh, it's still, we can have like another thing for that. We can actually go for, oh, there we go. Oops, that was accidental. You know what, Let, yeah, whatever. Whatever. It's all fine, it's all fine. It's all fine and dandy now. It's, hmm, I, I don't know if I should keep trying actually. It's sort of feeling like <laughs> I'm just, you know, kicking like it. Uh, yeah. I figure as much. Oh god. Free press. Bam. Um. A 
I could allow slavery if I wanted to. I don't think I will though. <laughs> doesn't seem like the right thing to do. Doesn't. Really doesn't. There you go. Oh. Russia. You will never, right? Nope. Ottoman Empire. You will not. Nope. Austria. You will definitely not. Nope. Prussia. Uh, you. Whoa. Nope. Hmm. What about the Dutch? <laughs> yeah, that's just ridiculous. That's really ridiculous. Yeah, you're right. Darn it. I was just feeling so good about trying this. Now it's just stupid. Now I feel just... I feel stupid. I really feel stupid for trying. Yeah. Well. Yay. Oh, right, right. There you go. There you go. There we go. Does that give us another try? It does. We should get the relationships better. Hmm. How oh, well? All right, so so because um, I really really want this to work, I went through the tedious task of trying and trying and trying and trying and trying again. <laughs> yes, really, I am really that hard to convince to really stop when it's dead. You know, I can just keep on kicking that dead dog and be convinced it's gonna come alive. And I tried really hard, and I did like increase relationships, relationship blow up, and now we actually succeeded in getting a. Uh, an alliance with Austria and this really took me like half an hour <laughs> so I'm kind of knackered right now um, but that leaves us to get like that that leaves us with uh, I went back in time because you know at a certain point it's impossible so I like restarted 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 put the liberals in charge went for you know reform um, population is not dropping too fast got budget going on here um, there we go uh, I guess put that up. It's sort of fine-ish here, so that's pretty good. Uh, military, whatever, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, put points to military uh, again, so we're gonna look for prestige in the future. But now Austria is on our side, and I'm gonna leave it here. Next time we're gonna try and get into a war and have them to join us. The way to get Austria on your side, by the way, is to, well, actually just improve relations. But make sure they don't are not allied with anybody else and except for you. Like Austria here, they're not allied with anyone except with us. So once they get allied with other people, they get sorta of in that state of mind of these are our allies and too many allies is not a good thing. So as long as you're the only one and they sort of like you, I have to go to like a few unlikelies until they would. But now we have it done and so next time we're gonna try and form uh, Yugoslavia partially so let's try to claim our territory back go for a war and we'll see where it goes from there but that is a good step in the right direction and I am thankful for you to stay for the long trip because I have been uh, <laughs> failing a lot in the start but uh, here you are and seeing us succeed that's awesome so uh, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next episode when we'll try to take on the Ottoman Empire goodbye